Cat's not looking right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yeah, I better pick it up before she sees it. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a knife in her hand too, man. Oh no. So you guys see what we got? What, what, what do we got? <laughs> huh? He's it's, 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 it's for tradition. It's for tradition. See what we got? KFC wedges are the best. They are pretty yeah, dang good. Yep. So I'm gonna get my wedge. Wedges. There we go. Wedge. Look at this thing. Wedges. Yes. Cheetos. So, so this is the main reason why we went there, right? The, the Cheeto sandwich. <laughs> this looks so sad. It's adorable. <laughs> Not anything like what it looks like. like they, they... <laughs> there it is. The KFC Cheeto <laughs> sandwich thing. I, f I feel like they missed, they missed my sandwich. They missed it. Oh, no, they, they missed it. They, they're, they're, they're trying to put mayo and stuff and they missed it. And then there's also yeah, the popcorn. Others. Popcorn and mac and cheese. I don't, I don't, mm. <laughs> it, looked, it looked a lot more exciting on It, did, it on really did. Line. So here. It's called false advertising. All advertising. No, they hired professional uh, photographers John, for that. Dude, that's a whole industry in its own mm -hmm. right. Like, and they know how to prep it so it angles just right, so it looks good. And and the thing is, like a lot of stuff they use to make it look more appetizing is gross. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like for like cinnamon rolls. You know how like when they do the cinnamon rolls on um, commercials, mm -hmm. and you know how it looks like the frosting is just so like rich and it's like white and creamy. That's actually glue. It's a mix of glue. It's it's not. It's not. Pause. One day, one day, he'll put his one on vibrate. One of these days. He says, he says that as, as, <laughs> as we're trying to get the partnership. Hey, so long, as long as we don't bad mouth. So how are we doing this? Are we all going to start with one thing? Oh, we we going to start with munching, didn't we? You're going to start with the who? We will start. I kind of want to start with the popcorn chicken just because it looks the Okay, most we'll start with the popcorn chicken. There we go. Popcorn chicken. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what is on it just right there? <laughs> it looks. <laughs> <gasps> that's where I put down the volume. Is it Google again? Yeah. I mean. All right. All right. All right. Popcorn chicken with Cheeto sauce or something. It, right? Like. Uh... I taste the Cheeto, but it tastes weird. It is like Cheetos. I don't taste it. It's really? Hmm. It kind of gives it a kind of a funky flavor. I think it's funky. I mean, it tastes like Cheetos. Mm. I taste the chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, it's, it's not like these are like evenly coated either. Oh, right. I taste it. I, I feel you. Wait, so so you think they got like a bag of just a sauce of drizzle? Probably. Or did, or did they and melt they that down? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like it's powder. Powder? And it looks melted. No, yeah. Well, the heat of the popcorn chicken is why. Oh, uh, what kind of cheese? Oh gosh, it use? is. Yeah, I think it's just powder and then the heat from the popcorn chicken is what melts it. So, I, I tore a piece of the popcorn chicken in half. Dude, is that all breading? Where's the chicken? I mean, you know what I was thinking. Where's the chicken? Yeah, where's the chicken? I broke it in half. <laughs> <laughs> I like KFC, but I feel like every time I go there, I get ripped off. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you normally order from KFC anyway? I usually don't go to KFC anymore. <laughs> Not because of that. But when we go, we usually get like the bucket. Oh like yeah, toy twenty one piece or something. Whatever. Like mm. Dude, I love the bucket though. Like it's one of those things you can't really go wrong with it. At the same time, you know. Okay. I found Popeyes and Popeyes I like a little bit better. So we we had the nuggets. 
the wedges now. The wedges are just wedges. They taste good. Mm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Wedges are wedges. So real quick, would you would you rather wedges or like fries? Wedges. Wedges. Wedges, yeah. I'm kind of not the only one on that. Yeah, definitely wedges. Or steak fries. Oh. You see, I'm, I like the waffle cut. Mm. Waffle cut's my favorite. I'm actually not a huge fan of that one. Oh. Well, I'll eat it, but. I think the best fry I had was at Gordon Ramsay's burger place. In Vegas? Wait, where is that? In Vegas, yeah. Yeah. Dude. Right next to other restaurants. Right next to Hell's Kitchen that I had the three month wait time. <laughs> three months wait time? Yeah. yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. we, can, we can get in. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Shoot, and here I was about to ask if you guys were ever on TV. Mm -mm. I think that, that Hell's Kitchen is in TV. LA. Mm. I've been on TV several times. Mm -hmm. Huh? Dr. Pepper didn't have it. What were you doing? Huh? I got interviewed. It's Dr. Pepper, don't drink it. Oh, it was back in Hawaii, right? Mm -hmm. I was back in Hawaii. When I was on Cola Lobby, I got interviewed. That's cool. What did you interview for? Hmm? What did you interview for? It was like the something year anniversary at Cola Lobby, and mm -hmm. we were there helping with the restoration effort. And a lot of the other students were like trying to hide from the media. Mm -hmm. I didn't. <laughs> Have you been on TV, Jason? No, we're yes, all about our experience. Yes, primarily B roll. I, I, I never, um, yeah, background. I, mm. I wasn't one to, you know. Mm. Have you ever been on TV, sweetie? That's Cat. No. Oh, I see. No? Okay. Have you? I was only on TV once. MTV? Uh, 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 he was on MTV. No, not on TV. I was on, um, I was a bad boy for the California Angels. That's the only time. What? Oh. Dude, that's awesome, nice. bro. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being a bad boy for a major league team. I wouldn't want to. No, I would chase balls for tennis. <laughs> for what? For tennis. You know, like the ball boys that run and oh. grab the tennis balls? I've seen so many of those go wrong. Like, they get hit by the ball. One dude ate it and ran face first into the wall. I did it. <laughs> you know what? No, I, I would too. I, I just, too. I like tennis. I'm sorry. All right. So, now we're going to try a burger. Burger? Oh, okay. Open chicken sandwich. Burger. Sure. So I'm gonna do what I used to do, take one bite. This is the random Cheeto here. And you put your fries in it? <laughs> and popcorn chicken, save some chocolate. <laughs> there we go. There are actually Cheetos in here! Yeah, they're so stale right now. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys heard that crunch. This is a sad chicken sandwich, guys. Mm. I mean, the chicken's good. It's mostly bread. <laughs> it is good. Eh? But you know what would have been better? If they use spicy Cheetos. Oh yeah, flaming Hot? Oh, yeah, I would not yeah. be able to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you guys went wrong. You were simply out. staring off into space again. Well, see, what they're doing is they're <laughs> trying to see how this does. And if mm. it does well, then they're going to introduce it back with the flaming Hot. Mm. It's marketing. Yeah, no, that's not wrong. Yeah, my little popcorn chicken on here. <laughs> <laughs> With my wedges. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? I was gonna say, what about the macaroni? It was mac and cheese too. Oh, there it is. You're gonna let this idea stick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know this, but I was notorious in high school and when I was at the military academy. What, for doing like everything for making sandwiches? sandwiches. <laughs> like even now, if you talk to like my high school friends or even people from the academy, they'd be like, yeah, you, you, you still make sandwiches all the time out of your meals. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so long as there's bread, right, I guess. Okay, so everything that we tried so far, which was the best one? Why did? Why did? You know what? I'd, I'd say the chicken from the actual sandwich. Like that, that for me is good. I agree with John. Wedges. The wedges. The yeah. wedges. You guys have the best wedge. I give that. They are yeah, yeah, really good yeah. wedges. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. It's weird. I've had they wedges. They like in, chips. That's why. Oh yeah. yeah. I have wedges in restaurants. And this is better than restaurant wedges. It's bad. Mm. No, their gravy is good. 
Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Yeah, they do yeah, have they do. Good. They yeah. do have good. Their biscuits and gravy. This are... mac and cheese is actually not that bad either. Mm. It's alright. No! Oh no! That's what happens when you try to make a sandwich out of everything. <laughs> The only thing I is just looking over like that mess. <laughs> I'll clean it up. I swear. You put down the knife. <laughs> mm. All right, there we go. Let's do this. Yes. Oh man. Here's everything KFC sandwich. Yeah, no, that's. I think this is how he keeps beating us in challenges. His ability to innovate and put everything together in one bite. What I noticed from John, he eats as much as possible in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. That's because you don't get full that way. <laughs> like the pho challenge, I just watch each other and he's like, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I ate the most and I was done like 15 minutes before you guys. <laughs> he tries to finish before the brain triggers like you're full, man. <laughs> But I mean, this is not that much amount anyway. So mm -hmm. I mean, this I don't is think a, any of us are gonna get full off of this. This is a standard American meal. Yeah. Does that say something? Standard. American. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, that's why I say you should have got the triple down too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be more difficult to finish. I'm not gonna lie. They like upsize the wedges. This gonna be perfect. Wait, don't they have like a loaded wedges? Oh, do they? Yeah. They do? Mm -hmm. Oh man. If they can make this awesome, they loaded with all sorts of stuff. Oh yeah. No, yeah, like a baked potato style. I don't know. I'd be game for that. I still need to cook meat joint for you guys. Ooh. Meat right. joint challenge? A bunch of meat joint. Just join everything. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of pork, a little bit of... Okay, so let's talk about some depressing news right now. Oh, do we have to? Yep. Oh. Endgame did not beat Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> really? It didn't? No. It got pretty close. It's not out of theaters yet, though. Uh-uh. They extended it. But... It, 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 it's not There's really supposed to be additional footage with the extended yeah, release. That, huh? I yeah, heard that. Was that was ooh, last weekend. It's, it's done. <laughs> I just, sorry, I, I swore in another language. I'll bleep it out. The extended footage though, it, like from what I heard it wasn't worth it, wasn't no, it? No, I heard it was, it was terrible. No. Like it was like, oh this is spoiler. No, it was like eight minutes to, towards the end they said. That's yeah. it? Just, well uh -huh. basically it was a footage of a character and they didn't even render it properly. Like they didn't even like fully render everything on it and it just- Oh that's poop. It was just terrible. Like I heard it wasn't worth it. Oh the movie itself is worth it. But like watching that additional Extra footage was it. not anything. The only reason they put that re-release was just to try to beat Avatar, but yeah, do it. Mm. That's sad. I figured at this point everybody who was gonna see it probably already saw it. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's just because Avatar did a lot better um, worldwide. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. It didn't, but it didn't do as as well domestically. No, it's pretty close. No. It was pretty close. It's like ten million dollars apart. Oh man, it is really close. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but movie-wise, not at all. See, this is where you one percenters need to step up and just buy like ten million children free tickets to go watch it. <laughs> Pay for an orphanage to go and see Endgame. <laughs> Pay for all the orphanages to go see in the world. Oh, that's that's crazy. Problem. So that record's been around what twelve years now? Mm -hmm. And that's not the, the inflated numbers. The inflated numbers would be like 3.4 billion. I don't think. It's like 10 or 12 it's, years. Really? That's it? I mm -hmm. feel like Avatar is a lot older. The Avatar um, dethroned Titanic. Yeah. And Titanic was around for... I think Titanic was like 90 years. At least a decade, or something yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, more than a decade. Two decades at this point. Well, I said at least. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was like 93 or 95. It was mm -hmm. some 90s. It was back when Leonardo DiCaprio didn't look all like he had, you know, crawled through the forest trying to get back to a hunter's lodge. I never watched for the role that he should have won an Oscar for. I mean, just saying. Like, what movie are you talking about? 
So DiCaprio ended up getting his thing for the Revenant. Yeah. At the same time, he was he was better in so many other movies. Inception. Inception. Yes, that's the very one he should have gotten it for. Yeah. There is a. I think he did I think the Oscars and stuff is overrated now. I mean, I agree. I mean, so do people. <laughs> <laughs> so what? It's, that's a very popular opinion. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like the Oscars anymore because it's so. There's just like political stuff behind it. Or yeah, it's just, it's it doesn't feel like it's more fan based. It mm -hmm. feels like it's more like um, the companies Academy, that like yeah. are able to grease the pockets of the judges or whatever. But you know what? Those Oscars don't make award wing or not award wing, but pro profit on movies. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what though? There is something that's happening this year that hasn't happened before. Have you guys heard of the Razzies? Yeah. No. So for for the guy who doesn't know what the Razzies are, the Razzies is an awards show or an awards um, ceremony where they honor the worst movies it's for like that year. The opposite of the Oscars. Yeah, so they have like worst actor, <laughs> worst actress performance in a yeah. movie, worst director, screenwriter. I think Tommy Wiseau of uh, The Room probably has yeah. like a wall full of those. Um, but yeah, no, this is the first time they're going to be televising it. <laughs> they're televising the Razzies, guys. That's just embarrassing. That's something to check out. If you want something, you know, to fill your time, that's much more worthwhile, I think. I want everyone to know my movie did bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, though. The, um... Just like Rotten Tomatoes, I think it gets its um, main thing from that one movie, the Attack of the Attack of the Rotten Tomatoes, or something like that. What? Yeah, so that site got its name from one of the one of the few so bad it's good movies. It's called Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. That's so the one. Sorry, thank yourself, you, thank you, uncultured swine. Oh my gosh. Doesn't feel like you guys did that much for this challenge. Not really. Yeah, it was not a lot. And I'm I'm taking my time. I think James actually might have beat me in terms of speed. Hmm. Yeah, I got you this time. I don't know. We'll go back to the footage. How about really quick? <laughs> it requires me to do work. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say roll anything, that means I have to go through and find the footage and start rolling it. I did for one time. There's, I forget what it was. There was something where we had a disagreement on something and I actually flashed both. Boo. <laughs> okay, she didn't see. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Hi. <laughs> Don't stress out the pregnant woman. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, that's actually so. What do you guys think? That was very good. It was good. Yeah. Good. Like um, it, it wasn't like the greatest. Like it's not like super huge innovative. Like oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. I mean, like we still talk about five dollar box, but yeah, I think like um, I think it's good, but it's not like like you must eat this. Like it's, it's I don't think it's like that. It seems like Cheetos seems to be getting like everywhere though. Yeah, they, they, they got uh, flaming hot Cheetos sprinkle over. Uh, uh, they needed tacos before like that too. Yeah, they got I think it was Doritos. Or like oh, there's a burrito too. There's oh, like a poke bowls. Oh really? Yeah. That's a thing. Oh yeah. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. It adds spice and lasagna. Mm. Mm. Without seasoning, I guess we I mean, here's the thing though, me and, me and John are from Hawaii, so... I mean, that almost sounds sacrilegious. Almost? I don't know. I just went to go eat sushi the other day, and it was like a bunch of different, um... Like all the different types of rolls that they have, like the Golden Tiger, the Las Vegas... Oh yeah. Uh, they go a little overboard on those, I think. Manager special, the they all taste the same after sweet like, Carolina. I don't know what like kind of things it was, and I'm just like, that's not really sushi. And then my plate came out, which is what I ordered, and it's all just like tuna, salmon, octopus, oh, <laughs> oh, and then they're just like the people I was with are staring, like, who ordered the plain sushi? I mean, you mean like how you're supposed to eat it? Like, yeah, that was me. Like, the, I was the only one. That order is like regular sushi. The only one who knew what sushi is. Yeah. Don't trigger people. <laughs> everyone, you eat however you want to eat, like you said. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I didn't shame them. They were shaming me. Because they're like, why do you eat it so plain? I'm like, oh, I mean, this is how I this grew up like eating it. it. Like, this is, 
This is how I grew up eating sushi. Like all the other stuff you guys are eating, I have no idea what any of that is. It's all, I mean, yeah. localized. Yeah, I, I mean, and a lot of it gets cooked too, which is like, it's at kind of point, antithetical, sushi. yeah. yeah. Although there are certain sushi that has to get cooked, like unagi. Don't eat sushi if you're pregnant. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that's a big one. Are you gonna eat sushi after? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss it? Oh yeah. <laughs> In case those of you guys don't know, Kat is pregnant. Mm -hmm. uh, She's gonna pop soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're all done. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still hungry. I'll give this a 6.5 out of 10. I was gonna say like a 7.2. 7.2? The chicken was good. No, yeah. The chicken good. was good. The, Come the, back on the salt. The, the chicken in the sandwich was, was really Perfect, good. The yeah. popcorn chicken was okay. But like the chicken in the sandwich was really good. The wedges are good. The wedges were delicious. Mm. I thought the mac gives a wedge a nine. <laughs> Mac and cheese, four. Really? You didn't like it that much? Nah. No, oh, it, tasted, I like it. it tasted a little weird. Maybe, to me maybe too. Yeah. I just don't. It tastes know. like cheap cheese. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe I'm just used to eating cheap cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the, the craft. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you don't, you don't dislike craft. <laughs> no, I know, no. I know. I'm just saying. Craft goes good in sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe not so good in that thing. That's though. true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what I would do with craft is I'd make ramen. Oh, we what? put it on? Yeah, and I put I put the cheese on the ramen and let it melt, and then I mix it up. It tastes so good. I do that to my rice too. Oh yeah. Fresh rice, throw some cheese on it, just have it melt into the rice. It is so good. Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> One day we should do that. We'll just pick a bunch of different meals and just throw cheese on it. No, the, <laughs> the cheese with everything mukbang. The next cheese with ramen, cheese with rice, cheese with spam to be. We should do oh, it. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds really good. We should do a Tipiak burrito challenge. Oh, we still we'll do, that. do that. Oh, yeah. man. Can we wait till after I'm not in pain every time I eat? <laughs> <laughs> I think about it. <laughs> it's been, I don't know if you guys know, but every so often I had made a face. It's because I ended up in the hospital <laughs> last week for like some type of like virus or something like that. So now it hurts every time I eat. <laughs> every time I eat, every time I drink something cold, this pain. That's unfortunate, my friend. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, guys. I think that's it we got today. Right. That's all we got for today's episode. So if you enjoyed the video, click that like button. If you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button and join the GG family. You guys got anything you want to say to them? Um, we are going to be doing some secret challenges, or secret menu challenges. So mm -hmm. if you have any secret menu item that you want us to try, uh, please let us know in the comments down below. Keep it secret. Don't tell us. <laughs> No, don't. That, that defeats no, the purpose, no, James. Tell us. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> but yeah, uh, keep an eye out for more content. Um, don't forget to ring that notification bell as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video, and we will catch you later. Did we say when our videos come out? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> so our mukbangs are our Thursday videos. We do have videos released every Tuesday and Thursday. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like John said, please let us know what you think and... Give us suggestions. We love the suggestions. Yes. See ya. Yeah, you're right. I could still probably eat after this. Yeah, let's stop by KFC and get a triple down. <laughs> <laughs>